Okay, so welcome. This is our core team cubicle. Um, I'll give you an overview from above just so you get a feeling for where we spend our time. Um, geographically, um, the people who are in this cubicle at the mo moment are mostly in the UK, but in, uh, ev in very, very different places from Beaconsfield to Scotland. And there's a couple of people from South America and Brazil and so on. But the layout of this cubicle is really straightforward. It's uh, a desks down here with what we have slates and you can see three people uh, sitting at their slates so we try and drop in several times a day so we can bump into each other there's a space here for when we're working in parallel we've got a conference room at the far end and um, uh, a project area at the back uh, and then we've got screens at the front so let me just go and track down someone who's working and just look over their shoulder I'm going to start with uh, David Wainwright at the top and I'm just going to go and stand on the show. So, David, um, I'm just trying to do a quick video of how we work together. So, can you just tell me what you're looking at and how it's helped you in about a sentence? Uh, I'm looking at the schedule for an upcoming event. Uh, it's been really helpful to have this up in here because it means that everyone can keep track of what's going on. Great. Okay. And the overall, you can see that we've been planning a countdown to the event. So, these are all the different uh, stages over the past few weeks and all the activities which people have had to do. So, everything's very clear here. Great. I'm going to jump all the way to Josh Cheeseman, who I think is at his slate. So, I'm going to go and sit on his shoulder. So, all of a sudden, we'll see what he's actually doing. Hi, Josh, yeah. Eddie. I'm just trying to capture what we do and how we do it. So, if you could just give us a quick overview of what you're doing here. Yeah, so this is my slate, and this is our process for getting new users onto Cube. So you have the name of the person on a sticky note, and then these are the different stages we move them through. So you can see at a glance what stage each of these people is at in the process of getting them onto Cube, getting them sorted, and finding out what they want. Great. And Josh, if somebody uh, wants to leave you a message on your slate and because you're not here, what do they do? Yeah, so there's a messages for me tab. So if somebody has a message, they can put it here. They can mark it as new or urgent or part of a conversation. And then the next time I log in, I'll see that on my slate. And I can put that uh, where it needs to be on my list of jobs. Brilliant. Get that Thank sorted. You. That's great. Great. I'm going to jump next to uh, Katie Nightingale. I'm just going to go with her because I don't know where she is in the cubicle. Ah, hi, Katie. Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm good. Thank you. Can you just tell me what the best thing about having a core team cubicle which we share is? Um, it's just a great way for us all to keep in touch with each other very easily, leave messages, um, find out where things are without if someone's not necessarily um, there or available. You can have a look at either my slate or their slate to have a quick look um, to see where something is. So, for example, if I've um, got a cube lab with someone and I've asked Josh or DW to register them, I can quickly go on their slate and see whereabouts in the um, registration or orientation process they are. Um, so that I know that if I need to um, leave a message saying, eek, this one is in, you know, two days time. Um, are they all sorted? Is everything happy? Do I need to contact anyone? Um, I can do that easily um, just by leaving notes and things around. Hi, Tammy, I'm just coming to you. Uh, I just want you to give us a quick guide as to how this works for you in terms of uh, your slate and working with everyone else and uh, just give us some thoughts about what makes it work. Okay, so I come in here every day and just have a quick look at all the things I'm uh, working on just now and put in quick updates. Uh, where I've got to so anyone can come in and see what's been going on this week and it also means if I need somebody to help me I can leave a note on their slate they'll see what it is and they can come to my slate to see more of the detail if they need it and it saves me keeping separate to-do lists and writing things down in them and share them in other ways so it's really really quick and effective to share that information with everybody. Sorry wouldn't you rather send emails backwards and forwards? No <laughs> <laughs> I don't do emails anymore <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to come to Leonardo. Leonardo, I think you've been on my shoulder, um, but let's just uh, have a quick chat. Leo, do you want to maybe uh, stand and look at either whiteboard? Where, where are you going to take me, Leo? I'm going to stand on your shoulder. Okay, I'm going to the small discussion whiteboard. And the reason for that is because I, I'm helping the speaker for the next inspiration event and, you know, just making sure that things that were supposed to happen so you can see that tomorrow I'll be rehearsing with him and I'm just checking if there's anything that you know is missing before I meet him so Brilliant. I could be okay. using my slates or something else but I'm on this right now thank you 
Thank you. So I'll just show you around the rest of the space because you've seen the working areas. There's uh, there's a nice place where we can share um, presentations, and we have like uh, what we're trying to do with Cube. That's 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 over there. Uh, we have um, a whiteboard. I think I pointed that up from above, so we've got space to do things and uh, and so on. And then we've got this lovely conference room, which we rarely ever use. It's only for people who are not very familiar with Cube and who want to do things like sitting down, uh, because if your feet are sort of hurting because you've been standing for a long time. And then we've got a, also a, a project room on the other side where you can focus on specific projects. So if we're working on something like, for example, the updates of Cube version 4, uh, we've got space work to plan it all and so on. So that is a quick trip around uh, our, our um, cubicle. I'm going to put everyone in circle, whether they like it or not, sorry guys, and just say a big thank you. And uh, if you wanted to give one piece of advice to people who are going to work out loud and use Q as a way of doing it, give me one line of the piece of advice which you'd give them as to what they should do and more importantly, why why they should do it and how well they'll get out of it. But just a one line on any of those three. I'll start from the bottom with Tam. Um, it will save you bags and bags of time so you can be much, much more productive and enjoy yourself. Thank you. Uh, I don't think Susan's here, so we'll skip to Leo. Well, remember to be positive. <laughs> That's contagious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Katie? I'd say just um, make it a really easy, quick part of your routine because um, it will save you so much time. If you routinely just, you know, when you come in the morning, just have a quick look, um, see if there's any notes or anything. It saves you so much time rather than emails back and forth all the time because um, you can just pop in in the morning and you're in. Great. Uh, Josh? Uh, yeah, I would say have uh, your processes on Cube so that telling other people and keeping track of it yourself becomes one process, which helps. Brilliant. And uh, can I finish by just saying also, since we're all in different places, for me, it's actually quite nice to actually get a chance to meet and, and chat rather than just doing it through data. Thanks, everyone. Um, thanks. That's working out loud at Pentacle on Cube. Thanks. Bye.